Welcome guys to Super Mario Galaxy 2! <laughs> it's uh... It's not official, but uh, I have Super Mario Galaxy 2 and I'm ready to 100% it. Now, do you remember what I said last time guys that, you know, I wouldn't be streaming Super Mario Galaxy 2 anytime soon? Well, uh, I kind of lied. <laughs> I mean, I should really start with Metal Gear Solid 3, but, um, you know, I needed a game to just relax on, and Super Mario Galaxy 2 is always a good game to relax, so let's begin. Um, right, so the emulation is uh, kind of a pain, but I managed to somehow get it mapped to a controller. We've got to be Butt Boy again. But <laughs> Yes! And let's begin! But So hopefully the um, frame drops shouldn't be too jar jarring. Now let me tell you a story... Oh wait, let me tell you a new story that also begins with Stardust. Shimmering Stardust falls on the Mushroom Kingdom once every century that time had come again. Dear Mario. God damn it, what is it with Princess Peach and flipping cake? <laughs> I'm not I'm not doing Princess Peach's voice. Hey Mario! <laughs> 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 that, that sounds more like a toad. <laughs> the Star Festival had just begun. <laughs> Uh, tables were everywhere celebrating. I mean, it looks more like they're panicking rather than celebrating. I mean, I don't think any of the uh, star bits that you get now are useful anyway, so... Yeah, this is kind of pointless. Everything from um, Mario's previous uh, adventure, so Super Mario Galaxy, he basically has uh, tools to... to. So he can uh, jump and everything. Yeah, it's basically Super Mario Galaxy 1. The only difference is that um, a few of the power-ups were changed. Was he lost? He seemed to take a shine to Mario. Probably because of Super Mario Galaxy 1. No? As he felt a new power surging through him. I don't know, what, what kind of power is that? Wait, he can speak English this entire time. Can I? I can't go back, okay. Right, if I do a triple jump. <laughs> ignore the, uh, ignore the Loomers. We are not going to break it. Yeah, screw you Toad. I don't need to listen to you. Shake to spin! So, um, I do have shake. It's just that, uh, it's a little bit complicated. <laughs> Bowser's back! And he's taking over the Mushroom Kingdom! <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> You're too late, Mario! The power of the stars is already mine, and look what else I got! Mario! Oh. Mario! I'm huge! Even scary up close, huh? Mario! Maybe I should do like a snake voice. Uh, maybe. I'll have Peach bake me some things for once. I sure could go for a galaxy sliced cake. <laughs> right now. Hmm. <laughs> I'm way too huge for this puny planet. Colonel, I deserve an empire that's more me size. And I'll put it in the center of the universe. <laughs> Have fun with your stupid mushrooms. I don't know why, Snake doesn't always go Colonel, I just I just have to do the Colonel. <laughs> I just have to be like, Colonel. 
This is part of Snape's character. Hey, where did that monster come from? He took your princess and went to the center of the universe. You must hurry save her. Oh, Master Luma. Young Master Luma, did you get thrown overboard too? Good thing you're safe. I see you're uh, going to stay in Mario's cap. That should be safe for now. But Mario, you have other things to worry about, like saving the princess. But how? I know. We can use the Luma's help. As a thanks for saving my friends. Now let's go! Boom! Uh, and here we go on another Super Mario adventure. Right, let's start. Pee Wee Piranha's Temper Tantrum. Our power stars, they're gone. Some gigantic, gigantic monster stolen. You're going after that monster. You might see our power stars out there too. Please bring our power stars back. We Loomers will help you along the way. Dun, 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 dun. Well, just got my first life up. Nice. So, there's not really much, not like, there's not really a big difference in this game. Uh, the way they expect you to get to the other side is by jumping over. I think they want you to long jump over. I think. Let's just read this. Oh no, it's Yoshi. Please go around the back. Yeah, so they want you to go into the pipe. But the quickest way to get up there is just doing that. <laughs> I'm going to transform into a launch star. Let's go! So star bits won't be easy for me to gather anymore. Um, on the Nintendo Switch version, it was so simple to get him. But, uh... Yeah, now that I'm emulating it, now I have to actually use a control stick to get the uh, star bits. Oh, they actually spit something out. Yeah, so those enemies don't actually spit anything out in um, Super Mario Galaxy 1. They just headbutt you, and it's hilarious. <laughs> to be honest, you could probably beat the Luma over there. And then we need to collect all of these. Oh, nice. So a new thing, a new mechanic that they introduced was our oh, crud. <laughs> well, that's my first death. A new mechanic that they introduced was a uh, quick time life ups. I, I don't know how you would call it, like special stages. So like the areas that you go to that you can get a life up from over here. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to say about those. So let's spin and get this life up. Nope. The control stick just went really weird there for a second. Nice. Get all these star bits. Star bits will be very helpful later on. And um, I think in this game they introduced coin loomers. Coin loomers will be uh, very, very special. Just because they are so difficult. They're so difficult to get all the coins for. I never really got all the coins for um, star loomers. You have to spe you have to actually just pay special attention to getting the coins. Ooh. Right, so let's go. Go up here, and then ah, oh, come on. No. You know what? I might as well just cheese it. There you go, cheese. I literally span. Where? How did I go over there? 
<laughs> How? How does that work? Nope. Okay. Backflip to side. Yep. Then backflip. Oh, there we go. Now it worked. Okay, ready? I think we can make that launch star if we get enough momentum. We gotta like launch ourselves. Okay, let's go to this planet here and just get on this launch star. Cool. And then we kill Guma. That is still one of my favorite moves to use. So, unlike the previous game, you can see that they are using the gravity a little bit more. Yeah, so they're, they're going to be using camera angles like this. And it's really going to make me sick, to be fair. <laughs> okay, so there's actually a Comet uh, medal. So in this game, rather than uh, Comet stars randomly appearing, you get... Um, you get these Comet medals. And it just makes it appear for the level. Uh, they still do the tradition of uh, giving you six lives instead of three uh, before boss fights, which is nice. I like that. And to be fair, those are there if you actually need it. To be fair, I shouldn't need it by this point, but considering the amount I've just died, I think I think I'll need it. <laughs> I see power star light over there. Boom! So something that this game does really well is um Yeah, it does uh something that this game does really well is that it shows things in like a picture format. So you don't have to actually have to read anything that the Lumas are saying. You just look at the star and then you know exactly, basically, what it's about. So this is basically the Bowser boss. No, honestly, this is just the Bowser boss. <laughs> ah! You literally get behind it, smack it in the butt. God damn it. God damn it. Let me hit you in the butt. There we go. And then hit it in the butt again. Oh, no. Damn. There we go. Go this way. Turn around. Hit it in the butt. And now the baby is dead. I have now murdered a piranha child. I feel proud about doing that. And here is our first star! Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. First star! You're this Mario guy. My little Loomers wouldn't stop blabbering about you, am I right? Sorry to hear about the excitement you had with that monster down in the Mushroom Kingdom. I'm sure you appreciate bringing this Power Star, though. I'm sure... I sh Oh, I sure. I sure appreciate you bringing... <laughs> I was like, I'm sure you appreciate bringing us the Power Star. <laughs> the name's Lubber. By the way, by the by, 
I'm the head honcho of this Luma crew. See, believe it or not, we're on a spaceship right now. It took some real elbow grease to convert this little planetoid into a ship, but we Lumas pulled it off. May not look like much, but it's home. Truth be told, the ship, she's not in right, uh, hot shape right now. We ran to that monster too, and he blasted us with meteors, and some of our crew were fought, thrown overboard. So, that monster kidnapped your princess, eh? That's cold. Deep space cold, if you ask me. You know what else is cold? That monster stealing every last one of our power stars. See, that's our fuel. Our spaceship runs from that energy. From star. Without that, we're stranded here. Master Luma. Who the heck is this? Hey yo! <laughs> the pizza's here. <laughs> oh no. I can I can hear the Amori fans just running down those stairs. Is that Luma? Young Star Luma? Uh it isn't. Wow. Wait, if you have trust of young Master Luma, hmm. Say, I might have a little proposition for you. Hear me out now. Your special someone got kidnapped. Would you like to go save her? I don't have an option to say no. I wish I did have an option to say no. Cause she promised me a cake and then she never gives me the cake. So I'm just gonna say, eh, yeah, sort of, maybe. <laughs> and we need to fuel our ship. Now, if you could think of some of our staff, if you could think you could get some of our staff back for us, I'd be willing to make the ship your very own for the bit. That's a fair exchange. Am I right, Mario? Uh, I don't have an option to say no again. <laughs> All right, it's a deal. Okay, gang, let's get cracking. Yeah, I want to see every space ship shape. <laughs> Mario died that day. <laughs> there were no survivors from that explosion. <laughs> Mario just died. <laughs> well, what do you think? Nice spaceship, yeah? More like a face ship, har har. Well, at least you never lose in a, uh, uh, lose it in a parking lot. Am I right? Ha ha. So what's next? Don't look at me this. L don't look at me. Wow. This ship has your face on it, not mine. Decision is yours. Feel free to explore Starship Mario. Or take the helm if you're ready sh to ship out. It's your call, Captain. Right, what I liked about Super Mario Galaxy 2 was the glitchy seagulls. Why are there seagulls in space? <laughs> and why can seagulls go through walls? It, it never really made sense to me why there was always seagulls on this planet. Anyway, let's begin. Full steam ahead! <laughs> Oof. So, this is the world map. Just point at your destination and jump to that galaxy. Like I said, spaceship runs from our stars, we don't really care. So, let's do the first level. Uh, storming the Sky Fleet. So that's the only time you'll hear that music. You'll never hear it again. And now Mario flies with absolute certainty. So you can kill all of these, uh, I don't know what you would call them, mini, mini chain jumps, but there's no point in killing them, because they're not really going to give you much apart from star bits. You know what? I need those star bits. Ow. Well, I'm going to need a coin now as well. Ah, 
don't know. Do you get a reward for killing all of them? I'm going to try it. Let's see what happens if I get a reward, if I kill all of them. Dun, 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 dun. I love the orchestrated track for this game. Dun, 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 I feel like this song is actually like credits. I feel like this song was used in the credits. Okay, so you can actually get into treasure chests by uh, knocking these things into the treasure chests. Oh. Power Star! They're going to use Power Stars a lot. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta run, we gotta run. We gotta kill all these chain chomps. And... Ah, you hit me. No. Right, we need to hit that chest. I think we've lined it up. Let's go. Right, that gives me some star bits. Nice. It's not already expanding from Super Mario Galaxy 1 because it never really required you to use these um, things. Oof, my frame rates. Right, oh thank you. Now I can transform into a launch star. Just hop in, go shake in and fly. To be honest, if it gets any worse, I may have to just... May have to... Postpone the streaming. I don't really want the quality to get too bad. Okay, right, so let's go this way. And it gives me a power star. Nice. I didn't know you could actually enter a damage state for power stars. So yeah, if you always just wanted to attack them, you can. I think essentially how it's meant to be used is you're supposed to run around in a circle and then just blow them up, but uh... Yeah, that, that works as well. So there's an easy way to jump up. Oh wait, no. Maybe you need to... There you go. Got it. Now we long jump. One thing I hate about this game is that you can't long jump into um, you can't long jump into wall kick. I mean that's what I've always hated about Super Mario Galaxy. Because it makes more sense. Long jump into wall kick. Why? Why is that not a thing? There's a lot of level, uh, life ups in this game as well. I've noticed that. Like, there's more one ups than um, than in previous uh, in the previous game. Let's go. Let's do a secret stage. Yes. Yeah, so, so doing these is just nothing more than just getting like extra star bits if you need the star bits and the life ups as well. Uh, can I get the coin? No, I can't get the coin. That's it. Cool. <laughs> when you're bored, just do, uh... Just do, uh, ground pounds. Okay, nice. I've got 100 star bits. Let's get these four bits here. Ooh. Do, 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 do. See, a hat in time does this concept a lot better. Where everything is timed.
the beginning levels of uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 are kind of um, Shadow Mario! Yes! Using Shadow Mor uh, Mario multiple times definitely a uh, plus for me. But I kind of do wonder how Shadow Mario works as well in this game. Like, how does he manage to follow your every movement? And how do they make multiple appear without, like, making the Wii's frame rate drop dramatically? <laughs> so yeah, if you get hit by one of those, that's it, it's game over. Um, this one's kind of simple, you just long jump. God damn it. I think what you're supposed to do is attack its head using this thing here. So let it come down, and then hit it. So if they give you, if they gave you like the correct camera angle, you could have probably done this easily. Unfortunately, they just never do. They give you always the, the incorrect camera angle. <laughs> I wish I could give you more help than just cheering you from the sidelines. You know, a friend with another Wii remote can just join as well, blah blah blah. I don't care, I don't have any friends to play this game with. <laughs> so, one thing that I do like about Super Mario uh, Galaxy 2 is the hub world. I do like Mario's face a lot. Because it's just, there is a lot to do here compared to Super Mario Galaxy 1. I mean, there's no secret stars that you can get in the hub world. So. Yeah, I kind of feel like that was a letdown. I think every uh, planet as well also has only two stars compared to earlier. So, um, let's fly to this galaxy. And it's time to meet everyone's favourite Yoshi. I might have to postpone this, because I'm looking at the frame rates and it doesn't look that great. Yes. Yeah, I may have to go investigate my British internet. <laughs> I'm hoping once I move over to um, Virgin, then um, everything will be much better. Currently I'm with Sky at the moment, and the speeds that they're offering currently is like, what, I think 30 meg? Like that, that is not, that is not good enough. I need higher. <laughs> I mean, Virgin offer, what, 20? I mean, my upload speed is like 10. Um, and Virgin offer 20. So, I might go with, um, I might go with Virgin Media. Well, no, I am going to go with Virgin Media. I just need to, um, just need to wait until they install the line, finally. Okay, so what I'm supposed to do is kill this Kamek, um, and that will give me access to the Yoshi. But to be fair, I don't think you actually even need Yoshi. But I do like Yoshi in this game. But I don't understand how Yoshi works, because isn't it in Super Mario World, like, they, they come out as children? They come as baby Yoshis, and then it becomes like, you know, 
Then they become a full grown Yoshi when they eat stuff. I mean, Super Mario Sunshine made more sense because, um. Because it was like, okay, you have to bring the fruit, and then Yoshi eats the fruit, and then, um. And then the Yoshi comes out. In this game, you just break the shell, like. You just break Yoshi out of its cage. So I think Yoshi can move on mud unaffected. I don't I don't actually know what the benefits of having Yoshi are. But here we go. Here he is, boys. Yoshi hatched from the egg. He saved me. I was trying to get to save my friends, but then got turned to the egg and trapped. So, Yoshi, who, who are you trying to save? <laughs> we never really get who Yoshi is trying to save. Like, he always says that he's trying to save his friends, but, I mean, which friends? Is he trying to save Princess Peach? Is he trying to save other Yoshis? Because we know that other y Yoshis are, like, coloured, so... I don't, I don't know. How does Yoshi poop out, uh, star bits? <laughs> so yeah, eating these berries doesn't really give you much, but it gets them out of your way. Plus you can chain them as well. Eat. Oh, these things kiss your lips. It's quite hilarious. I don't know how to get off. There you go. You have to somehow stomp on it. Oh yeah, and the shake works by Yoshi shaking his head. <laughs> oh god damn it, Yoshi. Why are you so useless? Let me eat enemies. I forgot that there's a cooldown period. I think what you're meant to do is you're meant to shake your head like that and, and kill him, but I've been I was trying to eat them all. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, it still doesn't work. It's not as uh, fluent as just using, you know. as just using normal Mario. Okay, right, get all of those star bits from the uh, volcano. Oh, a new thing that they introduced was dice as well. Those were never in Super Mario Galaxy 1. No. Nope. Let me get that one star bit. A spin! And I get a Bowser. Nice. <laughs> no, in my luck. Oh. Yeah, those enemies aren't really... ...pain until you become Bee Mario. They're attracted to bees. I think Bee Mario does make an appearance back in this game. Which is useful. Oh, Yoshi doesn't eat the thing. Yeah, Yoshi doesn't eat these leaves. Oh, I think you have to pull them. Yeah, you have to pull them. There we go. Pull its head off. Wow. Eat very tasty. Uh, eat. Eat more berries. Climb, climb. And then that signpost is probably going to just be telling you how to play the game. 
which I already know. So essentially what you're meant to do is you're meant to go down that way, but uh... I don't want Yoshi. <laughs> Okay, right, and then eat very Ooh. Yep, so you need Yoshi for this part. Particularly for this part, because this is where Yoshi's uh platforming this is where it platforming becomes like a big chore. You're going to need to be quick and you need to make sure that you press, you point and press B at the right time. Okay, let's jump over here. I think it can be in a general area though, so it's not that bad. Still quite bad though. <laughs> so you can't spin on these things. Damn it. But you can eat them. There we go. Okay, right, so let's begin. Let's get these coins. I need to somehow work out how to make sure that I do not die from this. Oh, and then we can swing up here. You don't need the life up. Got it. No! That was just like instant death. <laughs> Damn it. I think I can do most of this without Yoshi. Yeah, if you don't hit the wall, because hitting the wall ends things prematurely. There we go. Oh, I just got denied there. I got denied. Oh, come on. That was so good. You can even wall jump off the back of the wall as well. And just do that. I think you can do, if you do a triple jump, I think you can make it. Unfortunately, Mario's triple jump is terrible. There you go, got it. It's just better to just do a full on, do a full on jump. With a spin. I think you can wall jump that. You do that and then... But there must be a way to make it to that wall. Because if you can make it to that wall, you can basically... Wall jump off that. There you go, got it. They had to make getting to the star the most painful thing ever without Yoshi. There's no way you can do that. That's the highest I can get to. Without another platform to actually jump on. I'll tell you what, let's do this then. That 
Damn it. No, on the way. There. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of Yoshi. <laughs> Ooh. Starship Mario can now advance. Say, so, I don't mean to pry or anything, but what's that thing over there? I mean, to be straight with me, pal, you hatching alien eggs now? Ha ha. Okay. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to end stream here. Um, I'm sorry, guys, for the, the quick stream. Um, apologies, I just cannot. I'm having a look at my stream quality right now, and it looks really bad. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to... I'm going to try and figure it out. It's probably going to take me a while. Probably like a week or so. Um, it might be because I'm downloading something actually. No, it's, it's downloaded. And it's not uploading anything. Anyway, yep, so. Yep, bear with me guys. I will be back. Don't know when I'll be back, but I'll be back. Um, and when I come back, I'll be continuing on with Super Mario Galaxy 2. And also, um, Metal Gear Solid 3, <laughs> two games that I need to start playing again. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later, bye bye!